With all the lead gen accounts we manage, Michelle and I are always happy when there are new features announced for any ad platforms that help us get better information in between the channels and our CRMs. So this video, we're going to talk about the new TikTok native integration with HubSpot. Of course, we're going to show you how to link your two accounts together, but we also want to show you the benefits and certain tactics that you can use after these two channels are linked. Before I start going over the syncing of TikTok and HubSpot, I want to go over a few requirements that are necessary before you can even think about linking the two accounts. The first, the integration is only available in the US and Canada. One can easily assume it'll start rolling out to different countries, but as of now, not possible. Next, you must be using a TikTok for business account. So if you've been running promos for your company via personal account, you haven't transitioned the account yet, you will have to do so in order to be able to push any leads that you're generating back into your HubSpot CRM. Next, you must have an instant form created in TikTok Ads Manager. We show you how to do that in Michelle's video for TikTok lead gen ads. You could check that out here. And then finally, you have to have admin access to your TikTok ads account. Pretty simple stuff, but you may have to make some adjustments within your account settings in order to be able to sync TikTok with HubSpot. Okay, now let's actually go through how we can sync up the two accounts. The easiest way to sync TikTok ads manager with HubSpot is to do it through TikTok ads manager. I'm in the main dashboard right now. First, you'll want to go up to tools right here in the top navigation. And then under the management column, we want to choose leads. Hopefully you see the pink button that says connect CRM. This is the action that we want. At least on my screen, we see HubSpot is right here, but it's easy enough to just come up to the search bar, type in HubSpot, and then we can just filter it in. This is the first time I'm setting up. So I don't know how common HubSpot will be as an option, but being as popular as it is, I'd assume it'd show up. So of course we want HubSpot. And there we see we have several options. So many of you already might have HubSpot synced with TikTok if you already have Zapier or Leadsbridge. If it's already working, you may not have to go through these steps, but if you're brand new, I think the TikTok direct integration is the way to go. So we're gonna stick with this option, choose confirm. And then next, we'll have to confirm the permissions from both TikTok and HubSpot. So I'm already in the TikTok account, easy enough to just confirm permission. For whatever reason, if you do need to switch the account, especially if you're managing multiple accounts at the same time under the same login, that's where you can do it. Grant access to everything and click confirm. Step one is done. We're good on the TikTok side, but now we have to sign in to our HubSpot account. Since Michelle and I also manage and have access to several client HubSpot accounts, that's why there's a ton there, but we're gonna choose our actual HubSpot account. I'm gonna skip all the way down to the bottom and click on choose account. If you want to spend the hours reading through all the terms and conditions, but we're just gonna blindly accept because that's what we do now. We're good here and then let's connect the app. It said action is complete at the top, so let's go ahead to the next step. Remember in the intro, I said you have to have a form already created, and this is really assuming that you've already been running those lead gen campaigns already. So at this step, you'll be able to select the specific form. We just have the one option and then click next. Now this is a good step to learn what properties HubSpot has compared to what information you're asking for within your lead forms. Knowing what fields you can map with HubSpot might actually help you determine what questions to ask on any future forms or possibly update any of the current TikTok lead forms that you're using. So in this sample one that I created for the sake of this video, I'm only asking for name and email. So looking at the available properties for HubSpot, I just need to scroll. There we have email. I did not ask for work email. Go down here. There's one mistake I made right off the bat. I did not separate first name and last name in the form. So that'll be something I would go back and correct. Let me just double check something. Yeah, I didn't miss it. So good to know here. And then I would want to go back and change it. But going through, you saw a lot of contact information, a lot of company information, depending on how you're using your TikTok lead forms. You can choose to set certain statuses right away, but map everything out the way that you would want to, and then click next. You can either go back to the form setup, the previous screen where we were at, or look at sending test data to make sure that the syncing is working. Okay test data successfully sent. Let's go to HubSpot and review this information. On that last page, when I wanted to send the test lead, there was the pop-up to go to the CRM. Probably saw that I missed clicking on it. What I just did is when I opened up HubSpot, I just went to the main contacts view. I know I have to blur everything out. I told you this is Michelle and I's actual HubSpot account, but there we see test email three minutes ago. If I want to, I can preview it. 
There's the email. Name is there. Still haven't gone back and corrected the field. So assuming this is just someone's first name there. And in my end, it's working. Now pretending I was actually using that newsletter form, any leads I get from my TikTok lead gen campaigns using the newsletter instant form, it will automatically send those contacts in the fields that I mapped directly into HubSpot. If I go back to HubSpot, I'm gonna choose to go back up to tools, down to leads. I can click on connect CRM again. We see HubSpot is there. I'm gonna go back up and search for it again, going for direct integration. And here is where you can disconnect the account for whatever reason, if you need to remove access, you kind of have to go through the setup process exactly how we did to find the disconnect button. A little inconvenient, but that's what you have to do. However, if I click next again, here's where you can disconnect individual forms. And then in the future, if you created several other forms, whatever, you can add them to the mix, map those fields as well, and go through the reconnection process. Other than that, you are good from the TikTok side. I do want to call out TikTok mentions. If you do disconnect any form, any previous synced links will not get messed up. They will still be in HubSpot. That's completely fine. Disconnecting anything just means any future leads won't sync between the two channels. So now let's talk about one of the cool things that you could do when this is synced. Because one of the columns that we haven't seen yet, if I scroll all the way over, and notice some of these other columns that we couldn't see before. The original source drill down. Number one is integration, and number two is TikTok ads. So if you're looking at some of these other source columns, you'll be able to see which leads came from your TikTok lead gen campaigns. And there's some pretty cool stuff that we can do with this. So first, we're still under contacts, but I'm gonna head back up and then go down to lists. And now let's create a new list. When you're creating a list in HubSpot, you can choose to have it active. This helps keep your list fresh, updated, remove people off of the list, and automatically update. Or you can leave it static. I'm gonna leave it as is. Click next and then start adding some filters. On the filtering, I wanna choose contact and look at contact properties. Here are all the different fields. There's a lot. So if you remember the columns that we looked at, I'm gonna choose original source drill down to. And then you could change it, do contains any, you could choose equal to whatever. I know with the one test lead coming in, it's gonna look small saying that there's no matches. That's fine, but I know this is gonna work. But if you save the list, do what you want to segment all of your TikTok leads, that's okay, this one is still saved. Going back to lists, our option is saved. So we have this list building. It's gonna automatically refresh. Again, this is all demo account stuff, but these are the steps you'll have to go through. So now if we go up to marketing, click on ads, we can then go to audiences, set on over to create, and then choose audience. Now this is the part, there may be some limitations if you don't have a paid account. As you can see, we can sync your LinkedIn ads, Google ads, and Facebook ad accounts. However, I believe if you have a free account, you can only sync two of these. It may not be a big deal if you're not running a ton of campaigns and multi-channels, but if you are, the other limitation could be contact lists. I believe this is locked down in a lot of cases for free accounts, but we're going to create an audience based off a contact list. And then we can choose a contact list. I'm gonna use TikTok leads. None of this was bought, that's fine. Name the audience. I can also select, right now we only have our Google Ads account linked, but you could also select LinkedIn and Facebook here and then create the audience. So essentially what I'm doing is making a Google Ads audience off of all of the leads we have collected from TikTok ads. That user audience, since I already have Google Ads linked with HubSpot, is automatically gonna be fed into the Google Ads audience manager. So I can then create YouTube campaigns display campaigns, performance max campaigns, demand gen campaigns, targeting our TikTok leads list. And you'll be able to do the same thing with LinkedIn and Facebook, depending on what you have synced and what level of HubSpot you have. So if you have these TikTok lists that automatically update into other ad platforms, you can keep the user going on the step to engage with them in other channels. And since they've already interacted with your brand and they've already given you first party information, you can curate some very specific campaigns to those users to hopefully lead them to eventual purchase or sale. I think HubSpot makes a lot of things easier. And the audience feature is something we use in so many of our other client accounts. So if you are very active on TikTok and you are collecting first party information, see how you can use this audience information in a couple other ad platforms. If you have any other questions on how to sync TikTok with HubSpot, or maybe just lead gen ads and forms within TikTok itself, please let us know in the comments.
Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.